everybody, how you doing? Um, I wanna let you in into a little secret place here in Columbiana called the Shelby County Arts Council. I am uh, one of the teachers here. It's a beautiful center, it's brand new. Uh, there's lots of activities going on here. So if you're looking for something to do, whether it's a weeknight, a weekday, uh, there's something for everybody from photography to uh, pouring metals, to music, to painting. Uh, I happen to be uh, one of the teachers that uh, does Saturday workshops. Usually they're two hours and you get to go home with your project finished. All your materials are included in the price. And on Wednesdays, um, if you're looking for something to do with your friends, from 2.30 to 3.30, I have what we call Make It and Take It Wednesdays with Chris Cruz. And what is that? Well, you come to class and we will have a project already ready for you. And you're gonna do this project in one hour's time. And you're gonna take it home finished, ready to hang. And if you have some uh, little ones that wanna learn how to paint and draw, on that same Wednesday, they can start from 3.30 to 4.30 and we will teach them different things too. So today, what we're gonna introduce you to is the ease of painting with just a pen and a brush. And I am going to use some watercolor paints, but I use a minimum amount of paint I am very frugal, so it won't break your uh, pocket. And basically what we're gonna do is use a blue, a green color, a yellow, and a brown. Easy, right? Everybody has those at home. I like to use a Sharpie Ultra Fine Point Pen because it's not so thick. And I'm using 140 pound uh, watercolor paper, which you can find at any of your art stores. And um, if you live in Alabama, usually um, Alabama Art or Falcon Art Supply are great stores to get your art supplies. I like to support the local businesses. So what we're gonna do is I went ahead and I traced my flowers ahead of time uh, to save you time from watching me trace them on there. You, you can trace them on. Uh, so what I like to do is open up my pen and when I'm using it, I try to make movement with my wrist so that you're not kind of drawing it like you're pressing a line. So the looser you are, the more artistic your item will be. So what you do is you put your item kind of like on the side and move your hand in the same direction as if you were writing. So if you're right-handed, move this way. If you're left-handed, move this way. So what I do is I just kind of draw some lines first on my paper. And I'm cheating because, you know, I have a pencil mark underneath here, so I know that there's things underneath, but um, I have a painting kit available that you can purchase if you like, and it has all the little line drawings that you can do. And as you can see, I'm not really being careful drawing my little picture here. I'm just going in a circle, right? Everybody can do a circle. Everybody can do a little V or a triangle, right? And here's another one. And we'll put one up here, another little circle, like a little halo. And I'm not really sweating this, right? So don't you sweat it either. So here's another one. And let's just put another little line here just to even it out, okay? and sign it, don't forget to sign your work. I always forget to sign my work. Okay, so I am using a number eight uh, silver ru ruby satin brush. Um, it's a really good versatile brush. I use it for everything, acrylics and watercolors, and um, it's not an expensive brush. So if you have to buy a good brush, this is the one to buy. So I usually have two water containers here to mix my paints with. And what I am going to do is I pre-mixed already a little bit of water with some of my yellow paint here. And what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of that yellow paint on the bottom here, of the center of my flowers, right? And the little petals here are gonna be blue but I'm gonna use only one color of blue and I'm gonna show you how you can shade with that same color, just using one color. So I have a light blue here, right? And because this is watercolors, I can bring this tone down as light as I want. So I'm gonna make this really light and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on the tips of these little petals. See that? I'm not even trying, to, I'm not going like this, let me draw it in and no, no, no. Just Put your paint on your petal 
and some of them will be darker, some of them will be lighter, and that's okay, okay? And remember how I told you we were gonna use a little bit of brown, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this brown paint here. Actually, I'm gonna take a different brown. I'm gonna take this one. This one is a little darker. And what I do basically is just wet my brush, put it in my paint, and you can see here, see how I make a little puddle? By looking at the puddle, I know how dark or how light my paint is. So you can tell there that I have a nice little puddle. I always tap it on my paper towel just so that I don't have water going all over the place. And I'm gonna go right over that yellow that we did before to shade it, right? So we're having already our flowers showing up really nice. Now we need some green um, for the background and we're gonna leave this area open, right? So we're gonna do a reverse. Instead of painting the flowers, what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the background. But we want to get these little uh, areas here a little bit darker. So I'm gonna take that same blue that we started out with, right? And I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of my brown and tap it on my paper towel. And I'm just gonna do a little bit here on the edges. Rinse it so that they're not all the same color. And then pick up my blue again and make those a little bit lighter. Right, think you can do that? I think you can. Just give it a try, give it a try. So the background, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave my leaves just white. Um, and then have the background pop my flowers up. It's just kind of like reverse painting. So I will take some of my greens, and this is a really dark green, right? And then I'm gonna take a little bit of my yellowy green. And now, one thing about watercolors that I want you to never forget. Watercolor only goes in the area of paper where there's water, okay? So if I don't put water on my leaves, the watercolor paint won't go in there. So you can control watercolor. People always say, oh, you know, I can't do watercolors. Yes, you can. So if I'm going to paint my background, what I am going to do is I'm gonna avoid these little leaves here so that paint doesn't go in there. So if I put water here, you can see that it's not gonna go into my leaf. So what I do is I take some of that paint and I just drop it, let it go wherever it wants. It doesn't have to go right up to that petal, right? And it's okay to have some of the white showing. That's perfectly fine in watercolor. I have your pencil marks showing. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the dark and let it blend in with each other right there. And can you see how it's, the background is starting to get really dark? And what I'm doing is just combining a few colors for my background here. And because the base color is wet, the paint is gonna be attracted to that color. So we're gonna put a little bit more here. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that light green. And I don't necessarily have to cover everything that you see, kind of leave a little bit to your imagination. And now I'm gonna take my darker green, do the same thing that I did on the right and put some of that paint in there. And because it's wet, it's gonna gravitate to each other. But because I don't have water on my petals, the petals are not gonna get wet. See that? Now this is some of those projects that we do on Wednesdays here at the Shelby County Arts Council that you can do too. And it's really a lot of fun if you get a group of friends together and come and have some coffee and some cake and paint. And then if you wanna dress it up, what I do is I take a mat board that I have hidden right here and I can put it on top and I have a finished painting. See that, how nice? So if you would like to paint this at home along with me, please join me and go to my website at chriscruzdesigns.com and if you wanna buy the kit to paint at home, it includes the mat, your uh, paper, your uh, instructions, your paints and everything you need. And if you even have a question along the way, you can always email me and I'm very good about returning emails, but better yet, 
If you're in town, come to the Shelby County Arts Council and join me at one of my many workshops here, and I'm looking forward to seeing you. So happy painting, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching.